news on the northern edge of Moscow. The verdict is in on behalf of the judge, Brittany Griner, uh, WNBA star. You can see they're in jail, uh, sorry, in a courtroom right now behind the bars inside the court. The judge has found Brittany Griner guilty. In the last hour, Griner addressed the court, issued a long apology, said that um, Russia started to feel like home to her. and. Uh, apologize to everybody. She's 31 years old, could face 10 years in jail. And we'll see whether or not there is any leniency on behalf of the judge. Your Honor, they taught me two important, my parents taught me two important things. One, take ownership for your responsibilities. And two, to work hard for everything that you have. That's why I pled guilty to my charges. I understand everything that's being said against me, the charges that are against me. And that is why I pled guilty. But I had no intent to break any Russian law. I want to apologize to my teammates, my club, Genka, the fans, and the city of ECAT for my mistake that I made and the embarrassment that I brought onto them. I made an honest mistake, and I hope that in your ruling, that it doesn't end my life here. I know everybody keeps talking about political and politics, but I hope that that is far from this courtroom. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Are the woke revolutionaries gonna be upset today? Okay, they gonna be real upset. We gonna see some protests in the street. We gonna see all kinds of stuff, okay? Uh, in support of Brittany Griner, who just got sentenced to nine years in Russian prison, which she will be breaking big rocks into little rocks unless Joe Biden can pull off some type of miracle. She did it to herself in some ways by going there and by doing what she did. And that's why my call is for Americans, just don't go. Part of the way you punish Russia is to dry up every available dollar that they can get. So I hope there's no yeah. reason for any Americans to go there at all and put yourself at the mercy of Russia. Uh, the president of the United States, uh, this is also breaking news now, has gotten involved uh, in the Brittany Griner situation after the judge has sentenced her to nine years in prison. Just moments ago, we were told that he has called on Russia to immediately release Brittany Griner, again, your White House experience we lean on now. How, how does that impact what's happening now, to, to hear directly from the president? It doesn't. That's Why a not? domestic call. That's a, he's doing that for domestic reasons, as he should. It's the appropriate call to action. But Russia will ignore Joe Biden. I mean, again, this is why it's all caught up in bigger issues. It's caught up in the U.S.-Russia relationship. And when Joe Biden says that, why he has no leverage. Why will Russia agree? And the relations are bad. So it, it won't change anything for her on the ground. What will change for her on the ground is the behind-the-scenes movement, negotiating actions by the State Department. Yeah, Brittany Grant is screwed, right? As of right now, she is screwed. But with that being said... She had to have been convicted in order for Russia to start the process of actually really negotiating with the Biden administration over her release. But here's the thing, man. Here, here's the thing. Um, it's hard to really feel bad for her considering how she protested against the national anthem. Okay, she and a bunch of other woke athletes talked about how much they hated this country, how much America was a bad place for them. And then all of a sudden, once they get in trouble overseas, they want to come to America to help them out, right? Why does it take you to get locked up in a Russian prison for you to realize and understand just how great of a country America is, okay? So again, these same people that wanted to bash America for being racist, sexist, homophobic, and bigoted, um, these are the same people that are now begging this country to save Brittany Griner in this very country, again, they said it was racist, sexist, homophobic, and bigoted, uh, is showing special privileges towards her in the form of going out of our way to save her, even though we haven't done that for other Americans that have been wrongfully captured and imprisoned in Russia. Former Marines like Paul Willen, whom, unlike Brittany Griner, you can make an argument that they are actually being detained wrongfully right we didn't give a damn about him until the britney griner situation came up so again tell me is america still a racist sexist homophobic bigoted country since we're going out of our way to rescue britney griner even though she actually broke the law in russia right in which i mean technically she should be locked up she should serve 
her prison term, right? Nobody's out here asking for justice for Amon Shumpert, <laughs> who basically just got caught uh, doing the exact same thing that Brittany Griner was doing, except in the U.S., right? Nobody's out here saying that he's wrongfully detained and he's being wrongfully locked up. Nobody's coming out here protesting for him. Why not? Why not? But Brittany Griner, though, because she's in a Russian prison, because she is black, LGBTQ, and plays in a WNBA, right, which is the most irrelevant sports league in the world, uh, because of that, oh, well, she gets all this special attention. And ain't it crazy how in Russia, in Russia, um, she doesn't have the same rights that she would have in the American judicial system, okay, in the sense that she was basically guilty before being proven innocent right that that's how it has to work you're guilty before being proven innocent instead of innocent before being proven guilty she was gonna get sentenced to that nine years no matter what no matter what and this is why i tell these people these woke revolutionaries that complain about america being such a bad place for black people or black people who are lgbtq there's no other place on earth you can go and get better treatment than you can here in the united states period period and that's why these people won't leave. They know that. None of them will go to Africa. Why not? Because they know in Africa, they're not down with the LGBTQ stuff. Right? They're not on board with that. They're not on board with women's rights. They're not on board with that stuff. Brittany Griner is a prime example of what happens to black people, right? Or LGBTQ people when they go abroad, right? They don't have nearly as many rights and privileges as they have in the United States. But America's an evil country, though. We're going to protest the national anthem. We're not even going to come out for the national anthem. We're going to kneel. We're going to call this country hateful. This is a country of white supremacy. Okay? This is what people like Brittany Griner said. Now she's boohoo whining and complaining and crying from a Russian prison begging that same country that she smeared as systemically racist to get her out of a Russian prison. Right? The irony here is absolutely incredible. It really is. It really is. So with that being said, if the world revolutionaries really want Brittany Griner to get out of this Russian prison, um, they need to close their mouths, right? They need to stop protesting about this stuff. They need to stop putting pressure on the Biden administration. And the reason why is because the more pressure they put on the Biden administration, uh, the more leverage that Russia has, okay? This is how this works. Russia knows that, well, these world revolutionaries, if they keep, pressure in joe biden then he's gonna have to offer more right they already offered up an arms dealer that tried to uh conspire to kill americans right he conspired to try to kill americans so basically we're offering up a guy who can be released if slash when he goes back to russia if they accept this trade and he could go back to trying to kill americans so we're putting american lives in danger for britney griner <laughs> right we're putting american lives in danger for her russia knows that okay the more these people complain it doesn't have an effect on us but it has an effect on joe biden that's his constituency these are the people that voted for him because you know trump is such a terrible person right which means that putin can ask for more right why just stop at him why not you know try to get all the russian uh prisoners here in the united states released why not why not they'll do anything for britney grind and if uh joe biden doesn't offer up the moon for Brittany Griner, then he's not doing enough, according to the woke revolutionaries. So, with that being said, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's not looking good for Brittany Griner. But this is a situation where the wokes should be thinking about, okay, well, is this what I get for voting for Joe Biden? Because I think this is exactly what happens when you vote for people like Joe Biden over Trump. Because Trump has shown time and time again when Americans get in trouble abroad, particularly black Americans, when they get... In trouble abroad, he's there to help save them. He's there to help rescue him. He allegedly threatened to start a trade war over ASAP Rocky being locked up in Sweden, right? Allegedly, he helped with Leangelo Ball getting out of uh, trouble in China when he was still in China. So there's no doubt in my mind that he can do the same for Brittany Griner, even though he's come out here and said some things about Brittany Griner that don't suggest that he's feeling her too much. Maybe because of her anti-patriotism. But I'm just saying, if he was in office, uh, she would have a much better chance of getting out than the chance she has right now with Joe Biden.
But hey, mean tweets, mean tweets though, mean tweets. Trump's racist, right? According to these people. Joe Biden's not though. Again, how did that work out for you? How did that work out for you? This is the consequences of elections. This is the consequences. If the economy was not enough, if the border's not enough, if the crime crisis is not enough, uh, look at the situation right this. Maybe the wokes will wake up and realize that they elected a weakling who every foreign leader knows is a joke or is not actually running this country to be president of the United States. Again, you get what you vote for. And quite honestly, I really don't have all that much sympathy for Brittany Griner if she happens to uh, stay locked up in, in, in this Russian prison. However, I, I think that she eventually will uh, get home. But at what cost is the question. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective.